So you've probably heard about many AI coding tools, but here's the problem that nobody's telling you. These tools still require you to do most of the work. You're copying code, pasting it into files, running terminal commands manually, testing everything yourself, and constantly switching between your editor, your browser, and your terminal. And guys, if I'm being honest, it's exhausting. And if you're not a developer, you are completely lost just trying to figure out what goes where. And these AI tools, they promise to build apps for you, but they still leave you doing all of the heavy lifting. Well, that is until now. You see, our strategy using Google Anti-Gravity will automatically run terminal commands, open your browser, and test your app. And the best part, it even fixes the bugs without you touching anything. It's honestly, it's like having an entire development team working for you while you just manage everything. So in this video, guys, I'm gonna show you exactly how to use Google Anti-Gravity the right way. We are going to build two different apps together at two different difficulty levels. A simple to do app and a stock tracking dashboard. I'll show you how to edit and customize everything using screenshots, annotations, and voice commands so the AI does exactly what you want. And most importantly, I'll give you the safety rules that protect your work so you never lose a single file. And by the end of this video, you'll know how to go from an idea to a fully deployed app in just a few minutes, not days, not weeks, not even months, without doing any of the manual work yourself. Now, before we dive in, if you want all of the prompts that I'm gonna be using in today's video, and also the exact templates, then I've already put everything inside my free school community. It's the first link in the description below. Go and check it out, I guarantee you're gonna love it. But right now, let's get to the PC. Okay guys, so now that we are on the PC, First things first, okay? So let's get anti-gravity installed onto our PC. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna head over to the anti-gravity website, and I'll drop the link in the description, guys, in case you can't find it, but let's head over to it, okay? So then you're gonna download it for your operating system, which would be either Windows or Mac, okay? Then you're gonna run the installer and you're gonna follow the setup. So once it's installed, you are going to open it up and then you'll see an interface that looks very similar to VS Code or cursor. But don't worry guys about that main screen. We are not going to actually use it in its traditional way. Let me put it that way, okay? So instead, just look for the agent manager icon on the left sidebar, and then you're gonna click on that. And this is where all of the magic is about to happen. So the agent manager is your control center. Let me put it that way. So this is where you manage your AI agents to do all of the work for you. Okay, so now let's build our first app. So you're gonna click the plus button to create a new workspace, and then you're gonna name it to do app. And then you're gonna hit create. So this opens up a new agent that is ready to work in this workspace. But before we just throw a prompt at it, we need to give it a visual inspiration. So here's something that most people actually don't know about Gemini 3, okay? The AI powering anti-gravity, it's actually incredible at building user interfaces. So you're gonna open up a new tab and you're gonna go to VO, Dot dev. This is Vassell's AI UI generator in VO. And then you're gonna type modern to do app with clean design and task categories. And then you're gonna hit generate and you're gonna let it create just a few options. And then you're gonna pick the one that you like best. And for me, I'm gonna actually go with this clean minimalist design and idea. And then you're gonna screenshot it, just the main interface, okay, nothing else. And now you're gonna go back to anti-gravity in your agent workspace, and you'll see a text box where you can write your prompt in. And here's what we are going to say here, okay? So create a to-do app using React and Tailwind. Users should be able to add tasks, mark them as they complete them, and delete them. Use the screenshot attached as a visual inspiration for the design. And now attach your screenshot by clicking the paperclip icon and uploading the image that you just took. So hit send and watch what happens now, okay? So the agent immediately starts working. So you'll see it creating files in real time. It's actually setting up the entire project structure. So 
basically all of the technicalities are getting done without us needing to know even a bit of the code. So here's where it gets really cool, okay? So anti-gravity opens up your browser automatically and it loads your app, which is now a fully functional to-do app. So you can add a task like buy groceries and then you can just hit enter and it appears. And then you can click the checkbox and it will be marked as complete. So this just shows that everything actually works. So that honestly took me about three minutes, guys. Barely any effort whatsoever, just knowing exactly what to do. But let's make it all better, okay? So let's make some edits to show you how powerful this tool really is. So first, let's use planning mode, okay? This is at the top of your agent chat. So here you'll see a drop down that says fast, and then you're gonna click it and you're gonna switch to planning. Now planning mode makes the AI think through changes before executing them. It is slower, but way more accurate for complex edits. So now you're gonna type this. Add a dark mode toggle button in the top right hand corner, and then you're gonna hit send and you're gonna watch what happens, okay? So instead of immediately writing code, the agent creates a plan first. It shows you exactly what it's going to do. It's going to add a state variable for a theme. It's gonna create a toggle button component. It's gonna update the CSS classes, and it's gonna store the preference in local storage. So guys, you can actually review this plan and if something looks wrong, then you can just stop it. But from what I'm seeing, it looks good. So let's approve it. And now the agent executes the plan step by step. And there it is. <laughs> A dark mode toggle appears in the top right our very own toggle, and that's honestly just perfect. And another unique feature in anti-gravity is annotation, okay? So look at your running app in the browser preview and see that add task button, okay? So if you see it, then you're gonna take a screenshot of the app and you can do this right inside anti-gravity by clicking the camera icon in the browser preview and now click on screenshot and you'll see the annotation tools appear. Then do a circle around the add task button and now add a comment. Make this button bigger and change the color to green. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit submit and the agent then sees your annotation and it understands exactly what you want and then it makes the change. Now, isn't that pretty cool guys? So then you're just gonna review a browser preview and the button is now bigger and it's green. So this is exactly what you asked for. And you didn't even have to describe where the button was or write any CSS. You basically just pointed at it and it changed it for you. So this is how you build with anti-gravity. And also this just gives you an idea of how strong it really is. You are not the one that's writing the code, you're just managing an AI that does all of this for you. Okay, so now the to-do app was pretty nice, but let's build something a bit more complex so that you can really see how cool this tool is. So we're gonna build something that would normally take you hours, maybe even days or weeks if you were actually starting all the way from scratch, okay? So we're going to build a stock trading app with real-time prices, news feeds, and AI powered analysis, okay? So this is going to have multiple features such as API integrations, and we are going to use multiple AI agents working at the same time. So you're gonna go back to your agent manager and you're gonna create a new workspace, and then you're gonna name it Stock Tracker. So now, just like before, we need visual inspiration. So you're gonna head over to VO and you're gonna type financial dashboard with stock charts, news cards, and modern design. Then you're gonna generate it, you're gonna pick the design that you like, and then you're gonna screenshot it. So now guys, back in anti-gravity, and here's our prompt. Build a stock tracking web app using next.js and Tailwind. Users can enter stock tickers and see real-time price charts, latest news articles, and AI-generated analysis of the company. Use the screenshot as design inspiration. So then you're gonna attach your screenshot and you're gonna hit send. But here's where we're going to do something really different, okay? So so while the first agent is working, we are going to spin up two more agents to work simultaneously, okay? And then you're gonna click the plus button next to your stock tracker workspace, and this creates a second agent in the same project. So now in this new agent, I want you to type set up API integration for stock price data using a financial API. And then make sure it up 
updates in real time. Then you're gonna hit send and now click the plus button again for a third agent and then you're gonna type write comprehensive tests for all stock tracking features including price fetching, news display and error handling. Then hit send and now you have three AI agents working on the same app at the same time. So one is building the front end interface, another is handling the API integration for the livestock data, and the third is writing all of your tests. So this is the power of anti-gravity, guys. You're not a coder anymore when you're using this, you are actually just a manager of an AI development team, and they are doing all of the heavy lifting for you. So then you're just gonna check your inbox, click the inbox icon in the agent manager, and you'll see status updates from all three of your agents as they work. So it's like agents that's just keeping you updated the entire time. So now we have our app ready, guys, and it's a full stock tracking dashboard, and this is real. <laughs> it's a functional app, and it took about five minutes to build, so two minutes longer than the previous app. <laughs> but let's make it even better by adding another feature, okay? So you're gonna type this into your main agent, okay? Say, add a portfolio tracker where users can input the number of shares that they own for each stock so that they can see their total portfolio value and daily gains or losses. And then you're gonna hit send and the agent then thinks through this and automatically adds a new section to the interface. So now when you enter a stock ticker, you see a new field which is shares owned. Then you're gonna type in 10 for Apple shares and the app then instantly calculates your total position value and shows you how much you gained or lost today. That's a feature that would take an hour to build manually. And yet our AI just did that in about two minutes. <laughs> so now let's use screenshot annotations. Another really amazing way to utilize annotations in anti-gravity. So look at your running app, okay? You've got the stocks, you've got the news, you've got the portfolio tracking, but you know what would make this even better? if there was a crypto section, okay? So you're gonna take a screenshot of the app using the camera icon, then you're gonna click on the screenshot to open the annotation tools, and you're gonna draw a box in the sidebar where you want the crypto section to appear. Then you're gonna add your annotation. You're gonna say, add a crypto section here with Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Solana prices, and then you're gonna submit it, and the agent sees exactly where you want it and what you want. So now it gets to work. It adds a new crypto tab to your sidebar and it integrates a crypto price API. It builds out the crypto price cards with live data. And guys, <laughs> there it is. Bitcoin at its current price. Ethereum, Solana, all updating in real time. But this looks good, so Let's approve it. And then guys, what you're gonna do is you're gonna refresh the browser and then you're gonna test a stock that may have been broken before and the chart then loads it perfectly now, okay? So as you can see, if there was any bugs, the bugs would now be fixed and you didn't spend an hour debugging everything. So you spend 30 seconds asking the AI to handle it and a stock tracking app with real-time data, news integration, AI analysis, portfolio tracking, and a crypto section is now in your hands. So as you can see guys, everything works perfectly so I want you to test this out and then come back to this video and let us know in the comments what you created. So there we have it guys, you have now built two complete apps at different difficulty levels. You learned multiple editing techniques, planning mode for complex changes, screenshot annotations to point exactly where you want the edits, and simple voice commands for quick features. And most importantly, you saw how to manage multiple AI agents working simultaneously, how to review their work through evidence trails, and how to stay in control the entire time. This is the workflow that takes you from idea to deployed app in just minutes instead of days, weeks, and months, like I said in the beginning of the video. Now, if you wanna take this even further, I've got something special for you. All of the prompts that I used in this video, the exact templates, I've put all of that inside our free school community. So make sure to check it out by clicking the first link in the description below. Join the community, guys, grab the free resources, and start a building. And if you got any value from this video, Video, guys then give this video a like and subscribe and also turn on your bell notification so that you never miss another update and guys it's been a whole lot of fun and I will catch you on the next one